Okay, let's look at force couple systems. Okay, what is this? Well, we know that, um, well, maybe we don't know that, but let's just look here. So now you've got a, a body, and you've got a force acting on the body. This force that acts on this body has the tendency to do two things. The first is to push or pull the body in the direction of the force, right? But at the same time, that, say, that force has the tendency to rotate the body about any, any axis, any point that's not on the line of action of the force. Okay? So it tends to push or pull to want to accelerate this object in the direction of the force, but at the same time to rotate. So this is a dual effect that a force has on, an, on a body. Okay, so what we can do is um, we can uh, represent this dual effect more easily by replacing this force by an equal. So we want to we want to look at uh, we want to try to also determine what is the rotational effect. We know what the translational effect is. The the, the effect that the force would have in terms of wanting to accelerate or push or pull the body, but we want to represent it perhaps in a different way so that we immediately know what the rotational effect also is. Okay, I'm being quite confusing. But we want to replace it by an equal parallel force and a couple to compensate for the change in the moment of the force. Okay, so bear with me, stick with me here. Here we've got this body, we have a force F being applied at A, and as I said, this force has the tendency to push or pull, to in this case push this force in that, uh, this body in that direction, but also to rotate it about point B. So this is what we do. We take that force and we apply that force at the point that you choose, B, but at the same time you also apply an equal and opposite force and collinear. So what, what effect does this have? Well, it has no uh, effect in terms of the forces because we have a plus F and a minus F, and so they cancel. But what does this do? This leaves us with, can you see that here is a couple? We've got F and minus F, right? And so this, remember, so we've got a couple, and it produces a couple moment equal to FD, and it is a, I forgot to mention in the previous video, that um, couple moments are free vectors, free vectors, meaning they are, they they're not bound by a specific point. They can be applied anywhere on the body. They're free vectors. Okay, so now we've replaced this with two equal and opposite forces that are not collinear, which means that's a couple, and we still have this guy. So we, we've replaced this by a force and couple, a force and a couple moment, a, a couple which causes a couple moment. So now we can see, okay, so this guy is the same as um, a force being applied at B together with this couple moment. So we can now see the rotational effect that this force has about B. So this is what is happening at B, is there's a force being applied at B, and also, um, there is a rotation of the body. And this is called a force couple system. Now, another thing we could do is, if you ignore these two, say now you are just given a body with a force at a certain point, and you have this couple moment given to you. You can reverse this 
to get a single force acting on the body. You can move this direction from there to there, or you could move that direction from there to there. And we'll see that in some examples. Okay.